Let's take a look then at adding a prescribed item walk-in patient. So I'm just going to search for walk and that's going to find me my add prescribed items for walk-in patients. So you'll notice that it instantly takes me straight through to my prescription screen here. So the first thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to need to create a brand new patient within the system. So let's just create a new patient. And I'm just going to add the most basic information onto here for us. Okay, great. So now that I've added in some information here, I'm just going to click on save. And we've got a brand new patient in the system, but you'll notice at this point, I haven't been asked to make a new episode of care. I haven't been asked to make any outpatient bookings to link this through or anything like that. So the system is now automatically going to create them for me, dependent on what settings I've set up for it to read them from. So I can instantly go straight ahead and I can add a item onto my patient here. Um, I can still do it, everything else exactly the same. So I can set my quantities. I can set the date that it's to be dispensed. But you'll notice the difference is now as well that my to take home is set to yes, because obviously a patient who is coming in as just a walk in isn't ever going to be using these prescribed items within the hospital. So once I'm happy with this, I can straight away um, go straight to save. OK, so once those are saved, I do still get my post actions for what I may want to do next. So I can print my prescription, print my labels, print any bag labels, or I can just go straight to dispense and bill for this. So for me, I'm just going to go to dispense and bill because hopefully you know exactly how the other side of things looks already. So as soon as I dispense and bill then, it just gives me my patient's invoice, which is going to be made. So you can see here the item that I've issued, the quantity, the price. But obviously this is dependent on how you have set up your patient invoices. So once I've printed that out, I can then instantly use my post action to take a payment. So I'm not going to show you fully the take payment side of things. Um, so I'm just going to very quickly add this in. And I'm going to post my payment straight away. And once I've done this, then that's completed. So there's nothing else further to do. But let's take a quick look at my patient. So I'm just going to go into the patient area and I'm going to open up this patient right now. And you'll notice that they do have a episode of care within here. So I can see right now that there's an episode of care that's been made for today. I've got a specialty against it for me of general medicine, but that's completely up to you how you define this. Um, if we take a look now as well at my outpatient bookings. And CompuCare has also automatically created me an outpatient booking. It's in a specific room which I defined on here. So I defined that my outpatient bookings for pharmacy walk-ins are going to be going into the pharmacy consultation room. And you can see that the whole process has been completed. So it's now a fully billed state for this booking. So let me just show you very quickly then the settings that are involved in this. So I'm just going to go into my scheduling settings. And within here, if I just scroll down to the bottom, you can see I've got some defaults for pharmacy walk-in set up here. So as we could see when I was looking into my patient area there, I've got my general practice. I've got my private self-referral as my source, which was on the episode of care. I've got the specific room and I also have the purchaser and contract. So you can set these up completely however you want them to come through. And it's just to make your lives easier when you're adding these prescribed items for pharmacy walk-in patients. For more training guides, please visit support.streets-hever.com.